Welcome back to my core concepts. In my last video I talked about momentum and momentum is the rate of change that takes place within prices in a security. So when we have bar to bar action where there's very little overlap from one bar to the next, we have what is considered to be stronger than average momentum. Now to understand momentum you have to understand what an impulse move is. The two really go hand in hand. So when we look at any chart no matter if you're looking at the dollar yen, you're looking at the NASDAQ, you're looking at Apple, what you'll notice are the spikes of momentum where we have the stronger than average moves. These stronger than average waves of momentum are called impulse waves. Now, impulse waves have a habit of repeating themselves, meaning that when we see the same rate of change from one bar to the next, we can often see repetition for these impulse waves where we will get these measured moves that take place. So notice each of these main primary directional moves that have stronger than average momentum last for about the same amount of time but more so the same amount of price. So we will see movements from high to low that will be almost identical before we get longer corrections taking place. Now Impulse moves are fractal in nature, and what this means is that we get smaller impulse moves that take place within larger impulse moves in a trend. So in this example, we see a number of these kind of mid-range impulse waves, but when we drop down, look at these on a smaller scale, these larger impulse waves will often have smaller ones within them. So for example, each of the movements here is the smaller impulse wave. Now these are within the larger impulse waves, but they also have the same characteristics of where they are often the same amount of price change. This can help us understand when exhaustion is most likely to come into a security because when something gets to be at the end of where a typical impulse range is or an impulse move is, it's much more likely that a corrective move is going to occur. That correction can occur via a trading range or a shallower correction. It can occur through a change in momentum at which momentum then shifts and you can get longer price corrections. And it can also occur where something can just go into a trading range or a more gradual correction coming off of a high. So impulse waves, again, are really important in understanding when exhaustion is coming into play.